Hey, somebody get the top professional science communicators on the science communicator phone. Have them wake their ass up. Pay attention to the sun. We need to be prepared. You know, sometimes when I make a video, I'm like, who do you think would watch this? What do you got for me? An update. Good morning, folks. Are you cool? Hey, everybody. It's your head jump. Eyes to the skies. Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor new science upon you. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Well, this is space. There's space all over the place. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Okay, with the weather acting wild and wacky, I thought we'd take a look at the Thor News root cause of space weather. Because, you know, when the sun freaks out, space weather freaks out, earth weather freaks out, and the people freak out. So, since weather's been kind of weird and wild and wacky and WTF, I thought, hey, man, let's check out the sun, shall we? Now, I'm not science in here. We're just taking a look, seeing what the sun's doing. Because they've been saying, like, oh, there aren't that many sunspots. I'm sure they're right, because they're all super science and stuff. But the sun's been looking weird to me. and all super popping fresh filamenty. And when I watch it, it looks like activity. So we're going to be looking at, like, the last three weeks. Middle of November to now. A quick rundown. The very middle of your screen, the white circle represents where the sun should be. The big black circle is the occulting disc. The big black lump at the bottom is occulting disc 2. At about 8 o'clock on the occulting disc, we have a culting disc 3, I guess. In between culting disc 2 and 3 of the sun, baby. And then we got the cat hair do. And the weird two lumps at the bottom are the boob hills. Now that everybody's caught up to speed, we're looking at the lightsabers sticking out of the sun. I don't know if you know this, but the sun isn't like a light bulb where it gives off the exact same amount of light and energy all the time. No, it varies its plasma production with its day-to-day -day solar activities. The sun is an amazing thing. I like to think we don't really know much about it. Ooh, look, 26. Shun, shun shoo shot a bullet at Shuji by the seashore, collecting seashells. Once again, this is just straight up observation. You and I are watching the sun together. So, technically, I can talk about whatever I want. I'm just observing on what I see. Because this is the observational period point of this science. Boom! Man, they put up these cameras, stereo head core too, just basically the stereo cameras, so we could get a 360 degree look at the sun. But stereo behind broke. And they haven't replaced it. And I don't think they plan to anytime soon. Which is weird. <sighs> but it's 2016, man. And woman. Everything's weird, really. Now, apparently the sun is tickling the fingers on both hands. The cat hair dune. And that's sweet. I mean, who doesn't want to have their fingers tickled by something round and warm? <sighs> now it gets a little fuzzy. And I mentioned about a week ago we had two M-class flares. So, from this angle, looks like the sun is definitely pumping on energy. And activity. Hey, we get the dark matter coming back on the 6th. There's a big chunk of something. I'll have to slow that down in the future. I'll go real fast. Man, the sun is just pouring it out. Sometimes I think the sun is clearing all the interstellar medium because the sun loves her planets and life on them and is protecting us. Wow. There you go, two big blasts. No, that looks like a combination coronal mass ejection. Film a tear off. I don't know for sure, though. So, yeah, I'm seeing some activity, especially about three days ago. It looked like a little poot. That, that's a science term. I forgot what it means, though. All right. Now we're over at the stereo head HI1. Taking a look at Earth. Probably Mercury coming into frame. Earth is just spinning along with her candles. We get some weird jaggedy lines pop in, which is weird. Hey, right there, it looks like Earth has a buddy at the bottom. That buddy's just passing on by. A whole other solar system. And then we get our big squashed sun, Nibiru Planet X-y thing. It caused such a YouTube hubbub. Did you see that cloud that was passing in front of the Earth's candlestick? That was wild. I know wild things. And that is where the wild things are. Looks like that whole region of the candlestick has been diffused out. I wonder what that would be. What would cause that? Anyway, outer space is fascinating. That definitely has a monster movie feel to it when it pops up like that. Say everything's totally normal. Asterisk on this camera, except for the giant space cloud. The jagged straight lines. The big squashed Nibiru-type sun with the thing in the middle. Which they say is just they accidentally superimposed multiple photos over the same ones. Okay, make a bit like we And in the back, you got the old Stargate. All right, we got a giant big flappy bird. We got our Dragon of Doom carrying a lance, blowing a bubble. Now it's turned into a Venus crest, which YouTubers top amateur astronomers swear on their lives. That's a Venus reflection. And why would anyone ever have any reason to doubt them? But the flappy bird that's crossing over Venus right now, I think that's Venus. That looks creepy, and that's definitely not a reflection. It definitely looks like a giant type planet thingy. I'm sure it's just like a gray dwarf, pink dwarf, or an aquamarine dwarf. Totally harmless. Draw your own conclusions. 
Remember, we're just here observing the data, not making any grand conclusions like, hey, look, gravity waves. Gravity waves all over the place. And that definitely looked like it was flapping his wings. So you got like gravity wings, Venus. You got big brown dwarfs. I mean, gray dwarfs. I mean, harmless colored dwarfs. Uh, it's got to be Venus. Venus has two faces. She's the McDLT of beautiful female planets. You are super lucky if you are in her favor. And you are super unlucky if you're not. And that is definitely a giant flabby bird, angry bird, planet looking thingy. And it's getting closer. I say that tongue in cheek. This is only observation. Nobody's supposed to freak out about anything here. Okay? We don't freak out at Thor News. That crap looks like it's flapping his wings too. Oh, great. Wonderful. I mean, how can we get along with alien species if we can't even get along with our own people? Earthlings, we really need to straighten up. We need to straighten up fast. Times that big flappy bird dinosaur chicken purple dwarf kind of makes a V-shape. Does anybody else see that? I don't know. I went through a really bad Martian sickness. The Martian flu. So maybe my brain hasn't fully recovered, but it's definitely flapping something. And I, and I see waves in space. I see. I see. I see enough to where I'm going to turn the camera off now. Let's go figure out what all this stuff is. We go over to our latest images. Boom. At the uh, Sechi Science Center. SSC. Then you have the giant Colonel Hole in the Sun. Flattened out. We're going to look extra creepy. I'll have to flip that upside down and see if we can match any patterns on Earth. With Earth weather. And that thing in the MLSO looks kind of funky. I don't know if I'm breathing funny. It's because, as I mentioned, I was sick. Really sick. I'm still kind of sick, but I'm pushing my body. See, body, we ain't got time. We run down. A bunch of shit we got to do. So yeah, we got the other ones were Earth with Mercury closing in. Looks like Earth's got some up and down moons. Nobody ever talks about. You'd think we could see them. Asterisk. And then we got Mercury, Venus, Mars. Such a lover's triangle. So here you go. Now we'll head over. Sweet. Everything's totes norm. A-F-R-N. So when I'm outside of my observational phase, I would say things like, that totally looks like activity to me, bro. You got multiple filaments snap, crackle, popping off. You got that one sunspot in the middle super freaking out. Like it had just failed its senior math class and won't graduate with the rest of its kids. Just all crying and whining and throwing stuff and sticking out its multiple flame plasma tongues. And then you got the filaments, which are the giant plasma gummy worms on the sun jumping off in the get down. Solar tornadoes and gremlins doing a well choreographed dance. You gotta love solar lightning. And even at the four o'clock, five o'clock, filaments there, you got filaments six o'clock, you have filaments seven o'clock. Um looking at the earth like a clock. I'll even put a clock over it for you to give you an example if you're bad with solar clock time for position or whatever. Man, I, I bet they mention I was sick. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, sun's still a little bit wild, a little bit wacky. And I definitely think while that, that spot right there is facing us, that would cause some crazy weather on earth. A lot of energy pulses coming in and out. You know what I'm saying? Filament. That's super cray, man. What are you, cray nuts? You are cray nuts. And those things are ginormous, man. You know what I'm saying? I have to put up some type of sun to earth. Size comparison graphic for you, making it easier for your imagination to comprehend. And if you're like, what are you doing with your voice? I'm like, hey, dude, I had the Martian flu, which I mentioned previously. And my voice is repairing itself, so ah, chill out. Man, we need like 48 hours in these days. It's so much to do. So much to do. Anyway, so yeah, activity. I'm seeing it. How about you? I like this one because it makes the sun kind of look like a garden. Is it just plasma weeds, magnetic weeds growing all about, looping? Think of it like a rap song. And the sun is just looping its favorite magnetic beats. Yeah, that one's going wild. And I think the earth is pretty much in that same ecliptic plane. So maybe things should calm down or not. Looks like we got another one growing. Coming about, coming around. It's a little baby sunspot. Wow. When the filament blows off, creates waves all over. There you go. All right, this has been a quick solar update. We've all observed it together. Draw your own conclusions and um, leave them in the comment section at the end of the video. Once again, got to remind you, it is Thor News fundraiser season, which I do about once a year, give or take a couple months, where I ask you to help support Thor News Solar Science, where I take dimes, nickels, and pennies, rub them together to make a 10 or $20 bill, and then I compete with Billion Dollar Solar Science to kick ass. Did I mention Barack Obama validated my theory that no, solar activity is not low when he did an executive order preparing us for a strange, wild, wacky space weather. So, while individual perspective, reporting, and science is still allowed in this world, I ask you to make a donation. You can either go to my PayPal page and I'll make a single instant donation, or you can go to the Indiegogo fundraiser, Thor News Year 5, and pick up an awesome perk. New t-shirts, new video rewards, stuff like that. And I will do my best to bring you top-notch solar science, especially at an observational level. Anyway, God bless everyone. Peace out. Talk to you guys soon. Hope we've learned something today. Did we learn that I kept the cursor in there the whole time? 
That's not going to be good. Anyway, Merry Christmas. Hey. <laughs>